G'day guys, welcome back to another Carl and Dave Fair Dinkum Dinkum video guide. In this one we're going to talk about the NPC Ted Sally, but also who he is in real life. Now, most of you won't know because you're not from Australia and it's not very popularized amongst the world, but Ted Sally is a real character in real life. He is named Ned Kelly, he's a famous bush ranger from Australia. So a little bit of background on him. His mother and father were convicts from the British government, meaning they were exiled to Australia. They probably did something as petty as stealing some bread or pickpocketing someone. And back then, it was very popular to be sending people back to Australia to start a new life. Once the children are born in Australia, though, they're born free, but the parents are there still as prisoners. At age 16, he went to prison for three years for fighting with police after stealing a horse. Ned Kelly later then started the Kelly Gang with his brother and two others. They had a few runs in with the police and killing some officers, and then they had a reward after them for 500 pounds, dead or alive. They soon committed some more bank robberies and started becoming a name of local legend. They had a lot of sympathy from the people because they were just seen as some working class men sticking it to the government. Eventually, they made some iron armor suits, just like Iron Man. They then had a final shootout with the police at a railway station where they were held up overnight drinking they were trying to derail a train there. The three gang members were killed and then Ned Kelly went outside to make his final stand. Wearing his armor, he was impenetrable to the bullets and he was wheeling two revolvers shooting at the police. The police couldn't bring him down so eventually they started shooting at his legs where he had no armor and brought him down. He was then later sentenced to be hanged to death. His famous last words are known across every Australian as such is life. It's a deep part of Australian culture. Now on to about the character Ted Selly. Now, to find Ted Selly, as you wander amongst the place, you're going to hear this whistle. This will signify that he is basically within eyesight and you can go up to him and start interacting with him. Ted Selly can be found anywhere on the map. He doesn't have a specific biome that he spawns in. Ted does not spawn before midday and will not spawn on a Sunday. Though I have only ever seen videos and myself of ever seeing him spawning on a Saturday. His spawn rate's about 20%, so it's really hard to confirm at this stage so early whether he does spawn on any other day other than Saturday. He only buys meat, but he does buy it at 50% more than what John does. Uh, he does sell a battle shovel for 150,000, or a bone bow for 240,000, and the bone arrows. He then has uh, a croc burly box, a devil burly box, and a shark burly box. Now, for people that's not from Australia, the burley is basically uh, used to track animals in. So, for fishing, people will use chum in the water, as I believe some other people will call it. But in this here, they're just calling it burley. So, literally, it's going to be attracting animals in. So, if you want to get a whole bunch of sharks, use the shark burley, croc and croc burley. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. If you have any more tips on how to find Ted Selly, let us know. And just remember guys, stay dangerous, just like Ted Sally was.